the old lime kiln in there. I've covered up with ivy. There used to be a lot of these. There are a lot of these around this area. Farmers used to have their own lime kilns back in the day. That one's well covered up now. I've seen it when it's been more exposed. Camera's deciding to work on video at the moment. Just checking the time. It's 10 to 3. We've got an hour and 20 minutes. It's alright, we've still got a good half an hour just going down that bloody hill and then I'll need to find the loo. So, when we get back into town. Yeah. The old lime kiln. And there's lots of ruins in there, lots of features deep in the wood, which I have found and recorded before, but I can't remember everything about it now. But if you go online, you can find stuff as well if someone's written about it, or you'll find my video. There's a lovely view of um, Brent Knoll over there when, and the Axbridge Reservoir. It's a lovely view as the sun's still high for now. Three o'clock ish, it'll be starting to sink soon. Yeah, like I said, I'll have another day out tomorrow because we've got days of wind and rain coming. So drop everything and get out. That's what I'm gonna do. You've got it, you've got to, because you could have three weeks of rain and horrible weather which doesn't work very well with photography. The sun's right in my face as well, so you can't see Glastonbury from here. I can see the Quantock Hills, lots of sheep. But that little path that used to be able to go down there, doesn't look like you can do that now. But I've got that on record. When things disappear, some say, oh, I remember that little path. I say, yeah, I videoed that. It's a lovely old tree there, isn't it? That one. So if I turn it off video now, it might not come back on. But it's a lovely tree. My ship's undone again from the coat. Uh, I'll, f I'll fix it when I get back down there. It's not too cold at the moment. The bus comes at eight minutes past four. So I came up here the fact two weeks ago. I remember the long slog as I came up here. Up and up and up I went and then right at the top did a little walk round. Then I went up. That was God, that was that was hard work that was. I'd forgotten how long it took and how steep it was. But I'm just back here in Ninch Lane again. Try not to slip. Got the sun in my eyes, but it's lovely and warming. It's lovely and warming. I'm glad I've done that this time. I'm glad I've done that route. Knowing I need to explore others. So here we are, we're going down the lane. Do a little bit more videoing, because videoing has been very difficult today. The first part was fine, like it always is with the Kodak, will work perfectly. It works perfectly at the start of the walk for the first hour, maybe for two hours if we stretch it out before you've got to bring the Sony video on. And then, I'm, then it'll do photos. Kodak will do photos, so I'll do photos with Kodak and video with Sony. But then you're trying to hold all these different things. Then you might want to check your mobile. <coughs> I'm just going to zoom in right through there, because that's where my Glastonbury is. Look. Right through there, waiting. St. Sheila. It's 
It's been a long time. When are you coming? When are you coming, Sheila? This year, I will come this year. Do you know, I just feel, I just feel so blessed that the 126 bus is back. It's like a great relief. I've missed this scene. I've missed standing here. And though I grunt and groan going up the hills, I don't mind really. Oh, I just miss this so much. I love the woods, Western, and I love Sand Bay. But I was having to do, and I, of course I was doing uphill and Breen last summer a lot to compensate. And I will still do those. But what we fight, what the, the, the thing is now, is with the weather. We've had beautiful weather. I mean, when I left this morning, I had put the heating on. It was the coldest night since 2019, last night, apparently. And I put the fire on, the electric fire, for two hours. Because it, I didn't want to go out feeling like an ice cube. So when I left, I turned everything off, everything, apart from the fr fridge and the routers. Which the root just hardly use anything. The fridge, about 2p a day, I think, or 2 oh, I don't know, 2p an hour. <sighs> but it was on 27%. It's really, really gone up. That was 27% on my electric viewing meter that I've got. You can see how you're using. So... And that was on for two hours to boost the room. Now this afternoon while I'm away, the sun will be that room's radiator and for the bedroom. And then when I get back, I'll wait till about six. Then I'll put the fire back on. I had a message from B British Gas again asking me if I want to carry on joining the save scheme. <sighs> I'm not quite sure if it's a good idea or not. Last time I did it with them, it actually worked out dearer for some reason. And I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, one of my my little old oil heater, that sent shockwaves through the electric system and when it puffed a puff of smoke and that ended up gone. Um, I bought a new one, I knew it was going. Because it kept on flicking on and off. The wire was loose as well. Anyway, basically what happened was I had to go and buy another one for 25 quid. But this one's coated with something. They do warn you on it. It stinks horrible. It's a horrible smell. And we're to, I'm afraid it's going to blow up as well. But I used to rely on the little oil here when I don't want to use the bigger fire. Right up until June, really, it would come in handy. But once I put it away, it stays away. And it ain't allowed out at all to at least Halloween or this year. In, no, November just gone. I managed to get through the whole of November without using that. Then it went started to get cold then. And I don't really use the electric fire much. I don't want to use it much. Now last night before bed, two hours before bed, I put the electric fire on because my room was like really, really, really cold. Even with all my quilts and two, I put it on before I went to bed for two hours just to take that freezingness off where all your quilts are cold, your pillows are cold. And do you know, it helped, but it probably cost, you know, it won't be for nothing. But I'll probably have to do it again tonight. Apparently it's going to get warmer again. Um, but this is the last, I think today and tomorrow is the last really cold day. And then Friday night is supposed to be warming up from whatever it is, say 3 degrees up to 13. That's quite a big jump. Yeah, it's just... Uh, Affect you. I mean, I do always dress up and I always do everything possible before putting the heating on. You know, like putting extra clothes on, wearing a hat, scarf indoors, fingerless gloves, 
slippers, socks, thick socks, two t-shirts, a jumper and a dressing gown. And of course, uh, my, what I call my Eskimo pyjamas. Now, now, now yesterday I had a really bad aching hip, I must have moved funny. Today, I come out here, do a couple of hills, do a bit of hill walking, get up, gone. Gone back. It's a dodgy hip that I did when I met me younger playing hockey and I did a twisting movement which can happen in hockey if you don't move your feet. You move your body but you don't move your feet. It's a twisting movement of the hip. Um, and it come, the ball of the hip can actually not come out but the, the piece of skin, the lip around it can move and it's very, very painful. Uh, I mean, when I did it years ago, I, was, I, had, I couldn't crawl about. And I saw my doctor, and he was a, he also did chiropractic, and he told me what it was, and he put me into this cradle position. He went with his elbows, whoop, like that, and, and it went back. I've never forgotten him for that. I've never forgotten him for that for doing that to me and helping me. And of course, now if I bring my knees up into that position sometimes it will the hip piece of skin around the hip joint will actually slide back over again but of course once, it's like anything once you get an injury like that it you might not bother you for 10 years but a certain movement can do it it's like people who've got whose shoulders dislocate a lot they have that problem um, yeah, so you have just got to be aware. You ain't got nothing serious. What it is, the lip around the, the hip joint has just moved slightly. You've probably twisted somewhere, leaning. You've been doing a lot of tidying. You've been lifting up boxes. And what you've done, you've disturbed that hip. Probably turning with a heavy box. That's all it would take. Anyway, folks, you don't want to know about my body and my ailments, do you? But, as I say, this is a reflective journal and a visual diary. So I don't write things down. My diaries are my, my, visual, my visual journals. My visual diary, reflective journal, yeah. That's what they are. Right, I'm going to turn off now. Video. Turning off now, we're going down near to Cheddar now. We've had a lovely walk, it's been absolutely gorgeous, it still is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's no, hardly, hardly any wind, we've got rain and wind coming after Friday. So I'm making the most of this gorgeous day. And again tomorrow, I shall be out. Everything can wait. Everything can wait, I'm getting out tomorrow as well. But I'm, I won't be coming here. I'm going to Sand Bay tomorrow. <clears throat> if I lived local over here, I'd be out all the time. I'd be out all the time. I might still come out here, but I don't think I will. I don't like to overdo it. No. No. don't like to overdo it. Now, if there was more frequent buses, I probably would. I'd probably say, oh, I'll just go over and do Robo Warren and go back. No, because there's these huge gaps. You know, so it does put you off a bit. But I'm going to turn off and take a photo. Right. Somebody coming. I just turned the video on and somebody's coming. I'm back at Cheddar. I've got about half an hour or so, just, just over half an hour to wait for the bus now. It'll be just about nearly re. In about five or ten minutes, it'd be re leaving Wells. It's been a lovely day. It's not cold. I'm warm. I'm wrapped up well. And uh, I would come back again tomorrow. But I don't like to overdo it. I don't like to overdo it because I'm really appreciating being able to come out here. Um, I don't want to wear myself out, but all I know is there is no buses. 
at the weekends and the weather's changing. Somebody coming. Just doing some extra photos while I'm waiting to go to the bus stop. Video today, no one about. They've shut half the half the town down. Oh, I must have just seen a group of people from like a foreign country go up there. God, I don't know. <laughs> they look like they were all from sort of Afghanistan or something. <laughs> Imagine meeting all that lot up there when you're, if you're on your own. <sighs> it's only because, uh, you know, media and that. They've shut all this down. You know, they shut this down. See all the rocks falling down the side there? That's because um, they're, they're doing a lot of rock clearing at the moment up there. They're cutting down trees and uh, so basically it's very dangerous to go anywhere that way. Very dangerous to get a rock land on your head there. Yeah, I came down Jacob's Ladder last week, I think, yeah. I usually come down it. I don't pay to go up it. I go around the back. <laughs> yeah, it's been a really good day for photography and, and uh, video today. Very good. But all the shops, as you can see, are shut. It's very, very quiet because of the... They're doing the clearing which they do this time of year, before the public, before the holidays and all that. Chris, oh, they've taken Father Christmas in. He's gone. They get nicked us, but otherwise. Let me just have a quick look over here. Yeah, Father Christmas is usually in the corner. This is open all year, this place. Where is he? Is he in there? Yeah, there he is. He's inside. The Father Christmas shop. Yeah, they've, they've locked Father Christmas in. Oh, I love that. I just love this place, you know. I just love Cheddar, I do. I know all these little hills and pathways. I'm still discovering new ones though. Do you know what I mean? Still discovering new ones. Still people thinking they can come up here.
Can you imagine if I did miss my bus now though? I'd have to wait two, nearly two and a half hours. I'm just going to check the time again. There's the river access, this by the way. It goes all the way to Uphill and out to sea. Over and out.